Discretion is advised. If you break the rules, I'll eat your entire planet. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with the sixth review of the Jinbao series. And my favorite, Scavenger. Uh, he's actually really solid. I love the excavator mode. I love the robot mode. He's a good solid arm on Devastator. Uh, he also comes with this little thing here to form the uh, the end, and also you could just plug it here and leave it uh, in the robot mode. But I think it looks silly. And then he still has this you know huge shovel uh, sticking out. And uh, unlike Hook, you can't uh, remove it. Well, not that I found it. But he's my favorite. The transformation is fun. The he's solid. There's no problems. I really, really dig this figure. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at him. And uh, I love that. You can't see it here, but there's so much light piping, as you've seen in the reviews. Uh, fantastic set. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Go on AliExpress, find one, buy one. But before I go on with the review, don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'll do until I die. And also, don't forget to wait at the end to get your 10% discount code for DJC Collectible, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And now, without further delay, let's do the last uh, individual review. And then tomorrow, uh, you get to see uh, Devastator. And here I am with Scavenger, out of the box, fantastic figure, my favorite of the set because he is so stable and I love the alt mode and I love the transformation, everything about it is good, even the instructions are better, again they show you that you can use the little cart in the back, I choose not to display them like that, and 26 steps, you know. Builder, Dr. Crank, Jinbao, same stuff. Uh, they do the job. Uh, you have again this little uh, card thing that will be the forearm of Devastator. And you have the gun, which goes in hands really nicely. This one is different. You actually remove him. Or maybe is it, it is the other way around. Yeah, like this. Looks better. There you go. So these are the accessory. Uh, and then the figure itself, I don't know why I love him so much. I think it's because of the transformation, but he looks really good. Uh, he has the same light piping as the others, as you can plainly see. He works really good. Even with that big uh, shovel in the back, uh, the light piping works really good. Uh, and he's a more simple transformation, uh, less panel, uh, but everything hides really well. Uh, um, he's fantastic. I mean, the detail, the silver with uh, the purple and the green, uh, again, on this guy works great. Uh, you know, the forearm guard, uh, they look really good. The details, you see a little bit of robot uh, junk inside, but eh, it's not that bad. We've seen worse. And he's good. He's solid. Transformation is good. The only thing is that I have here... A broken peg but it doesn't affect anything that peg is not used for any type of transformation or panel holding it just broke so I have it uh, over there somewhere but uh, I'll maybe I'll super glue it uh, but I it's no big deal it's not a deal breaker even with that he's my favorite love this figure uh, articulation well you have the shovel in the back you have the 360 at the head uh, attitude and everything, great ball joint, the ferris wheel, and then you have this angle here. Uh, you have a rotation at the bottom of the shoulder, you have a great elbow band, and then you have a good rotation at the hand, and the end is super tight, but it will hope open. Come on, go back. There you go. Oh, knocking cameras, big figures. Uh, you have a double rotation you have for transformation you have the chest here 
which will rotate but you also have the waist rotation like this here and then you have uh, he's not able to do the actual split but it's close enough uh, you have uh, he could you know kick back kick forward uh, but uh, he uh, doesn't have the ability to do a 360 uh, you have the rotation uh, of this part here and then also here and uh, the foot the same one as in on bone crusher I love how this just kind of rolls and you can place him any way you want and it's solid it's not loose same thing here for the heel uh, it's really good you have a good bend more than 90 if you move this around here there you go uh, so yeah very interesting figure love the way he looks love those ratchet sounds he's solid transformation is fun he's my favorite i'm missing something oh no okay there it is god i got uh, scared for a second oh yeah great great robot mode uh, and he's a bit back heavy because of this so you saw the knee kind of gave uh, gave way a little bit so Let's do some size comparison. Let's uh, remove this and this. And here he is with Raziel Kane, a custom figure I ordered from Input uh, Reviews and Custom. Studio Series 86 lag and jet fire. Like this. Yeah, like this. There you go. Also with the blade enhancement from Fire Talks. Well, that's it for robot mode. I'm gonna transform him into his power shovel mode. Uh, and it's fantastic, it's great. Hold on. There! Optimus Prime is directly overhead! Then dig, you fool! Dig. And here we are with my favorite alt mode, the power shovel, which is gonna be the French word of the day, Pel Mechanic. And it's fantastic. I mean, points of articulation uh, here, here, and then you have one here with the ratchets and it's fantastic i mean you could do some good stop motion with this i won't because i'm not it's not my thing but i know a couple of people that might have fun with this and he rolls well i mean they don't roll i mean yeah okay this peg here this does stick out like a sore thumb now but hey whatever and I, I don't mind it's not a deal breaker uh, the cart in the back uh, looks really good and uh, everything except the head I mean it's right there but everything hides really well under the uh, what used to be the wrist guard now it's the, the whole back uh, back end and it covers all the hollowness in the back um, there's I don't know if maybe uh, I don't know why this is removable Maybe when I do the Devastator, maybe I missed something earlier, but it's there. Uh, actually a two-piece thing. There's a little... I have no idea why this is all removable. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I love the, 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 the look of it. The transformation is fun. It's actually really fun. So, yeah great improvement uh, I don't know which one came first but way better than Mixmaster and now I'm going to do the arm and again I think this is a fairly simple one but before I do that let's do some size comparison with Siege Reflector love this set it was something I was waiting for for way too long and he's worth it Jada Toy Nano Riders Optimus Prime and the wooden city tractor I reviewed and built uh, not too long ago. And now let's do the arm mode. And here we are with the arm mode. So same thing, you open this up, fold out the fist, pull on this, get the nice ratchet articulation. There's a double, technically you get a double joint uh, articulation, so not bad. And basically there was a little more to it because this used to be in the back, so you have to flip everything around and uh, that's it so yeah still fairly simple for an arm and I'm not gonna complain uh, actually I just saw something uh, they say that they should be I don't know that's the right way all right so I got it so there you go arm mode for devastator 
And final thoughts, my favorite figure, love him. Can't wait to put uh, Devastator together again. Uh, hopefully I didn't do any mess up and I can actually do a, a properly standing Devastator. Um, I'll see if I can, uh, you know, uh, put him up together um, in front of the camera. I really hope so, uh, but I am going to have to be creative with my setup. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.